Mr. Otterson arrived home and he opens his safe and he retrieves the will of Dr. Jekyll. Now this will stipulates that if Dr. Jekyll were to die or to disappear for a period of three months, that all of his things, his house, his assets would be given to Mr. Hyde. Now Otterson did not like this will, so he decided that he was going to go see his friend, Mr. Lanyon. He wanted to have a conversation about Mr. Hyde. Now that night, Mr. Utterson couldn't sleep. He was worried about the will. And he decides that he's gonna go confront Mr. Hyde. So he goes out to the street and he stands and waits until he sees Mr. Hyde. Then he approaches him to have this conversation to get clarification. Again, he was so disgusted by his appearance. Now, Utterson then decided to check on Dr. Jekyll. He goes to his house and bumps into his assistant, Mr. Poole. He decides to ask him questions. He wanted to ask him, how does Mr. Hyde get in and out of the house? Mr. Poole says he never comes in this area of the house. He always goes around the back side of the house where the laboratory is. Mr. Utterson wonders, what's the connection between Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde?